Hey Neeraj Mahajan here. I hope you're doing fine, fighting the corona and studying also. That is most important. I just wanted to quickly discuss some of the amendments. Oh, importantly, importantly related to depreciation under PGBP. So this was a change in the depreciation rates, especially for the uh, plant and machinery part, the motor cars, because the automobile sector was down. So in 2019, we had two types of two budgets. One was the regular budget in 2019, the February one, and then one more was released in August 2019. So we had this kind of amendment in the middle of the year. So this is applicable from May 2020 and November 2020 examinations only. This is the budget. I'm. This is the amendment I'm discussing about depreciation rates. So we'll check in motor cars. The motor cars, uh, which were which are used in any business other than running them on hire, that means regular motor cars in a regular business, the regular your normal your regular uh, normal depreciation rate was fifteen percent. However, since the automobile sector was down, to give it a little bit of encouragement, it was increased from fifteen percent to thirty percent. It was doubled, but there are two conditions attached to it. That is only actually only one condition that it should be. Acquired on or after twenty third August two thousand nineteen, so it was a kind of an immediate, you can say, boost given to the automobile sector. However, obviously, it should also be put to use on or before thirty first March two thousand twenty. Okay, so motor cars, other than those in the business of them, acquired on or after twenty third August two thousand nineteen. But put to use before first April two thousand twenty. That is, you can take it up to thirty first March two thousand twenty. The depreciation rate will be applicable. Will be what thirty percent, isn't it? It will be doubled. I'll come to the other parts also. Less than one eighty days and half and a half depreciation, full depreciation, whatever additional depreciation. I'll come to that. As well as those other motor cars, you can say that is motor buses, lorries, motor taxis, etc., which are used in the business of running them on hire. That means the assessee itself himself is in the business of running them on hire. So this is the main part of his, you can say, business. So that's why we always had this regular depreciation rate of thirty percent, isn't it? So again, to give this a uh, this sector also a boost, the entire uh, you can say this type of assessees, the depreciation rates have been increased from thirty percent to forty five. Percent again, same condition that you can say motor car, motor buses, motor lorries, etc. They should be again acquired on or after twenty third August two thousand nineteen, but put to use before thirty first March two thousand twenty. Then depreciation rate applicable is what forty five percent. To again just to summarize quickly what is going to happen. So wherever you are, you you were using fifteen percent, we will use thirty percent, and wherever you are using thirty percent, we will use it as forty five percent. But now what? How it is going to be applicable in your studies? Now pay attention. So for PY nineteen twenty only, this is only for nineteen twenty. Pay attention, okay? So motor motor cars, other than running them on hire, pay attention. This amendment has come into effect, or you can say is applicable from twenty third August two thousand nineteen, isn't it? So whatever is the purchase done between this period, first April nineteen to twenty twenty third August, as it is, you were we were giving motor cars, regular motor cars, as fifteen percent, isn't it? Now in this scenario, when we were not uh, aware of this. Then, if the motor car was used for less than one eighty days, we were taking half depreciation, isn't it? So instead of fifteen percent, we would have taken seven point five percent, isn't it? After fourth October two thousand nineteen, since it is a leap year, so less than one eighty days. However, what has happened now? They have completely changed from fifteen percent to thirty percent, isn't it? So whatever, now pay attention. Machinery is this motor car is uh, acquired between this period from twenty third August nineteen to fourth October nineteen. You will give a depreciation rate of thirty percent, isn't it? Now the same motor car, if it is acquired, okay, put to use after fourth October. Why? Because it is now used for less than one eighty days. Over here, you will give what half depreciation, isn't it? Correct or not? So we're just replacing fifteen percent rate with. Thirty percent, and now we are treating everything as thirty percent and fifteen percent. Full depreciation thirty percent, half depreciation fifteen percent. Clear or not? Obviously yes. The additional depreciation was always there and will always be there, isn't it? That concept is still there. However, those motor cars, that means buses, lorries, maxi cabs, whatever, those who are used in the business of running them on hire. Now pay attention. What used to happen before the amendment? We used to give it a rate of thirty percent. But now after twenty third August, what has happened? We are giving it a rate of what? Forty five percent. So same thing. Those motor, uh, you can say buses, etc. Those who acquired on or after twenty third, twenty third August, isn't it? We are giving them a rate of forty five percent. But again, up to fourth October, because they are used for more than one eighty days, we will give them full depreciation of forty five percent. Similarly, those motor buses, lorries used now, I mean acquired af acquired. As well as put to use whatever after put to use mainly after fourth October why because now it is put to use for less than one eighty days we will give it now half depreciation are you following or no correct so keep this in mind about the depreciation rates again 
Having said that, the additional depreciation concept is again and will always be there. So whatever rates you are now taking, okay, now this, pay attention. From this period, it was 15%. From this period, it is 30%. And again, over here now, half depreciation. Whatever it is, you are giving additional depreciation thereon, okay? That will always be there, fine? Whatever might be the doubt, I'll be as it is sending you this PDF file. Whatever might be doubt, please get in touch with me. Fine till here? Chalo, take care. All the best.